Welcome to Philip Mastermind. I'm Kim. The data center market in Asia and ASEAN is experiencing an unprecedented growth driven by rising demand for cloud services, the Internet of Things, and the adoption of emerging technologies like artificial intelligence. Data centers are physical sites or buildings that house mission-critical data and information under strict security and redundancy protocols. Data centers serve not just as storage facilities, but also offer backup, disaster recovery, data management, and networking solutions. Malaysia is at the forefront of this expansion, witnessing a significant influx of data center investments. Over the next five years, Malaysia's data center capacity is projected to exceed 800 megawatt. According to Malaysia Digital Economy Corporation's MDEC, Malaysia's data center revenue is expected to double in 2025 to 3.6 billion ringgit from 2021's level. There are four main types of data center. Number one, enterprise DCs, which are owned and managed by companies optimized for their end users and are often on premises. Number two, managed service DCs, which are outsourced to third parties with companies leasing equipment and infrastructure. Number three, call location DCs, for which a company rents space within third party owned facilities off premises while managing components like servers and storage. And finally, number four, cloud DCs, which are hosted by cloud service providers like Microsoft Azure, Google Cloud, AWS, and Alibaba Cloud. Malaysia is attracting global data center players due to its low land and energy costs. Furthermore, low electricity tariff and plans for renewable energy under the NETR are also important factors for consideration. Connected to numerous submarine cables, Malaysia ensures excellent connectivity. And furthermore, Malaysia ranks as Southeast Asia's second most digitally advanced country with strong banking and e-commerce sectors, conducive business environment, skilled workforce, infrastructure, and government support. These factors position Malaysia as an attractive destination for data center investment. Consequently, Malaysia hosts several major enterprise data centers, including prominent names like Ames Data Center, GDS Service Limited, and Caper Data Centers Holdings. Additionally, the establishment of cloud regions by Microsoft and Amazon Web Services promises significant advantages for Malaysia's domestic data center industry and economy. And recently, Google announced a major investment of 9.4 billion ringgit, which is equivalent to 2 billion US dollar to build its first Google data center and Google Cloud region in Malaysia. These investments underscores Google's confidence in Malaysia's potential as a strategic hub for data infrastructure in Southeast Asia, poised to boost the country's digital economy and technological progress. The development of the data center industry in Malaysia is overseen by the Malaysia's Digital Economy Corporation, MDEC, an agency under the Ministry of Communications and Digital. MDEC is tasked with advancing the nation's ICT and digital economy. Alongside the MIDA, which is a Malaysian Investment Development Authority, and the Performance Management and Delivery Unit, Pemandu, they formed the Data Center Task Force, DCTF, which is responsible for facilitating data center investments in Malaysia and served as a one-stop shop to assist potential investors looking to establish their presence in the country. Data centers require significant power notably with electricity used for cooling systems, consuming around 86% of total energy, according to IEA. Their contribution to roughly 3% of global carbon emission, on par with the aviation industry, has sparked heightened attention to ESG considerations. Globally, data center operators are committing to achieve net zero emissions by 2030, with some aiming for absolute zero emissions through enhanced efficiency and renewable energy adoption. For example, to reduce the embodied carbon, i.e. the CO2 emitted during the construction phase of DC, DC operators could source sustainable materials and utilize local inputs to reduce the importation of raw materials. Another example, innovations like hydrogen fuel cells and advanced cooling technologies are reducing carbon footprints. Alibaba Cloud's commitment to transitioning its global data centers is also another good example, which is running entirely on clean energy by 2030, beginning with upgrades to 
five of its hyperscale data centers in China. Investment opportunities within the data center team often center around established telco companies as data centers are crucial assets for enterprise services complementing extensive submarine cable ownership. Although there are no exclusive data center firms listed on Busa Malaysia, investors could look at construction-related and service-oriented companies integral to the broader value chain within the data center space. A disclaimer here, the examples provided are not exhaustive and should not form any recommendation to buy, hold, and sell. Tanaga focuses on power consumption for DC. YTL Power stands out for its YTL Green DC Park, AI data center development, and NVIDIA partnership. TM provides data center core location and cloud services through TM1. Timecom owns AIM data center. And Suncon, Yamuda, and IJM are construction contractors for data centers. To elaborate more, year to date, Suncon has already secured 3.3 billion ringgit of new orders, which exceeds its target of 2.5 to 3 billion ringgit of job replen replenishment for this year. Yamuda recently also won 1.74 billion ringgit job to build Sun Dhabi Properties Hyperscale Data Center at Almina Business Park. And IJM has been involved in providing industry pulse for DCs and has a DC contract under its tender book. Separately, certain property players have successfully generated substantial returns by selling land for data center purposes. For example, Crescento recently sold three plots of land in Nusa Chamalang Industrial Park, Johor, to three data center operators, include Microsoft Payments M. Sanyang Bahad for 543 million ringgit earmarked for data center projects. Similarly, EcoWorld has sold land in Iskandar, Malaysia to Microsoft Payments Malaysia, Sanjang Bahad for 402 million ringgit. And finally, AME Elite sold land in Pulai to Hong Kong-based data center operator, which is Digital Hyperspace Malaysia, Sanjang Bahad for 210 million ringgit in cash. Other than the utilities, property, and construction players, selected names in the industrial space are also benefiting from the emerging trends in data center. Vstex and SNS are distributors of hardware components for data centers and cloud software. KGTS is a provider of facility cooling solutions. CloudPoint is a supplier of data center networking and MEP solution. Critical and HE Group is provider of mechanical, electrical, and process MEP services. MN Holdings is specializing in DC substation engineering. So the DC market is increasingly showcasing its vibrancy through numerous examples which we had highlighted earlier. And again, the examples provided are not exhaustive and should not form any recommendation to buy, hold, and sell. Thanks to our strategic positioning in data center related names, our managed accounts and unit trust funds have been able to secure decent returns year to date. We we'll continue to seek for alpha ideas within a large and small to mid cap space, investing in companies with strong fundamentals, sustainable business models, clear earnings visibility, and a high quality management team. In Philly Capital Malaysia, we have a wide range of private managed accounts, PGWA, and unit trust funds that could cater to different investors' needs. Whether you want to DIY, seek for advice, or let the expertise fully handle your portfolio, our platform will have a comprehensive list of products, including discretionary private managed accounts and unit trust funds can cater to your needs and preferred ways to achieve your financial goals. That's all for today. Stay tuned for our next Philip Mastermind. This update is brought to you by Philip Capital, your partner in finance. Oh.